get started, Joe. Including like, oh, uh, I guess you don't have to do ads that much because you have it's on Amazon. Yeah, ads, uh, people talk to me about ad budgets all the time, but generally, if you're doing everything right and you've done your product research correct, yeah, ad budget will be taken away from the sale anyway. So it's a case of the product is twenty, the ads cost is four or five, and the fulfillment is X, and the, and the product cost is Y, and then it's basically taken away from the sale rather than actual uh, budget from the uh, startup. Mm. So that's the way I tend to look at it. But then again, if you do everything correct, some people don't even need to advertise your products. There's one yeah. product I started about uh, two, three months ago. It was fairly simple. I put the price kind of low because I wanted to get some sales in. I tried an advertising campaign and it didn't do very well. So I left the product as it was to see how it would get on organically. And it just slowly got the reviews. It got more sales and it slowly crept its way into the top 15. So it didn't need any advertising. And then to this day, I don't need to advertise. So for, for most of your products or your most successful product, the private label uh, yep. thing you have going on, it's you don't use, you don't advertise it. You just have most it on Amazon. Of, most of them, no. It's, advertising is generally best for the early days when your product has no exposure. There's no reviews on it. Nobody knows what it is. Nobody knows your brand name. Once you've got the ball rolling, it's, it is like a snowball effect.